Okay, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, part two of our series with the grass whip. Now, what's really important to get out of this grass whip business is the feel, because bottom line, when you're out here on the golf course, there are only two things that matter, okay? The picture that you wanna, you know, the, the, where you want the ball to start, where do you want the ball to end, how do you want the ball to fly? High, low, draw, fade, very important stuff, okay? So make sure you check out my how to work the ball, all right? Working the ball part one, two, and three. Now, you're out on the golf course, Let's say you have a standard ball flight with a draw and you're saying, yeah, that's the flight I'm looking for. I want to start at just a little right of that target right there. So let's say my target uh, on this particular hole here is number 18. There's a starter's hut at the top. I always like to take it toward, that, um, toward the left edge of the fairway and fade it back toward the starter's hut. So my beginning and end is right there. So I get set up. If I'm hitting an iron off the tee, all right, I'm going to tee this a little bit lower. But the way by which I'm going to shave this T is slightly on the way down. So I want to feel that the low point of my swing is naturally in front of that particular T. So now from there, I've got my, my little stem, my little um, uh, dandelion stems. I'm going to give it a nice little zip. Okay. Now if I were doing it on the upswing, with the driver, notice I play the ball a little more forward in my stance, I want to feel like I'm catching it on the way up. So from there, we're going to go upwards. So I want to feel like the, 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 the shave of this particular um, stem has a slight upward cut to it, okay? So that's basically what I'm focused on as far as the grass whip is concerned. So let's go ahead and hit a shot. I'm going to hit my 5-iron here, which is my standard club that I normally hit off this tee. So left side of the fairway back to the uh, starter's hut. Grip. Take a little practice swing here. So does that feel like I'm zipping through the stem? Or did it feel like I was <clears throat> shoving or pushing? I need to feel a very strain-free, effortless, but very powerful zip through that, that little stem, all right? So here we go. Nice grip and posture. Does this setup match that picture? Yes, good. So now, I, does it feel like the low point's gonna be here? Yes, it does. Fantastic. So I feel, does it feel like I'm gonna catch it a little bit across toward that, the left side of the fairway? Yes, it does, okay. What's it feel like again when I'm zipping through that little stem on that weed? Ah, oh, yeah, I know what that feels like. Feels like that. Oh, that felt good. That ball was just pummeled in the center of that club face. And if you look at, there's the divot right here. Nice and wide. So if I had, it's basically not just the stem. For many of you, like I've, I've done this before with a lot of my students, Many of you need two, three, or four stems that you can get all the way through, okay? So you wanna feel that you can get past those two stems right there. Now, with the driver. Now this is, this could make it to the top of that second fairway there. It's about, it's about a 320 carry. Same setup, left side of the fairway. Back to the starter's hut. Does that feel like that setup? Yes. My eyes are on the tee, not the ball. So my eyes are on the stem of that dandelion. If I don't see the stem of the dandelion when the ball's sitting down, I have to see right through the golf ball to that stem. Do not let your eyes wander and, and then hover on the top of the ball. You'll hit the top of the ball. You want stems, not balls. So we're not focused on the golf ball here. So the stem of that dandelion Left side of the fairway to the starter's hut. What's that feel like again? Oh yeah, I feel the weight of my arms and that tool in my hands. I'm gonna use the weight of that arm tool unit to zip through the tip of that dandelion. Here we go. Oh, yes sir. Well, that might make it up there. Ah, too cool. <laughs> yeah. See that? There's my extra 15 yards. It's going to pay off big time this year. So enjoy that. We'll talk to you in the next video.
Okay, so even a pro can get excited when he gets when he finds improvements in his game. There's the tee box coming up the hill. First rough, uh, first set of fairways there, about 220 at the end. Second fairway up here. And I was playing the left side of the the fairway with a little cut coming back and just nipped a couple of branches from the tree and here we go plug mark is right there there's my golf ball I am such a a proud papa right now because <laughs> I probably hit that about uh, a good 325 on the fly because it's a uh, it's 490 par 5 and there's the uh, there's the 150 marker so yeah I would say on the fly a good uh, 330 335 so there it is. Awesome. Hey?